The Spanish government has announced that their native were responsible for the revolt that took the lives of the Spanish troops in Cavite. They have been found guilty of treason and sentenced to death. On the three priests, Father Burgos, Gomez, and Zamora. They have been arrested and they're currently in jail. The letter has been sent to them. <laughs> Good. I am Soledad Concepcion, a news reporter from La Papela, Soledad. I am instructed to take your statement about the involvement of your names in the uprising that took place in the Cavite. I have an official report that says that you are one who initiated what happened. We have nothing to do with it for our community. I have here the official report. Do you want to read it? Here is the official statement from the Governor General. Let us not let this be the beginning of revolution. General, we have the sympathy of the people. It is very easy to convince the idiots of those bastards, especially when the priests use the word of God in every word they utter. Por Dios, Dios mío. If then, there is a possibility of rebellion when this priest die. Those priests have to be killed to stop their influence forever. If they could build 200 men to fight in the Fort San Felipe, they could persuade many more men to fight against us. And I will not let them to rule our country. If we will let them, they will get our power and position. I will never let them roll over the Philippines. Is this what they think? Do you think we want to be the king of the Philippines? They accuse us that we are one in this revolution act. We are innocent. Everything they said was just a public hated. Now, is power the main issue? Yes. Whether in charge or government, it is always about the power. They are desperate to get the sympathy of the people. They are afraid that the Filipino press will take over the position. Thank you.
pang pagpugot sa ulo ng tatlong fraile? Oo nga. Hindi ako makapaniwala. Oh, Grabe talaga. Just ngayon. <laughs>